Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever. Last time out, we did what? We did this. We were over in uh, Cleveland and we sorted out all these tram lines and we started, uh, we redid this entire section, which means that our tracks and our trains now work in a completely different manner. Uh, you know what? To be completely honest, I'm not entirely keen on the way that pink line goes, the buffalo line. So I am actually going to start by adjusting the platform that the buffalo line is on to platform four. Like so. That is, that's preferable to me. Yep, that's, that's much more preferable to me. Now that being said, that being said, I'm not hugely, um, I'm not hugely liking this this connection here. I mean, yes, it, it looks okay, but it it just I don't know. There's just something about this connection that I'm not I'm not entirely fond of. So at some point we are going to be changing this one over to something a little bit a little bit better. But for now, it's going to have to run as it is running. Uh, one thing that I do have to check is that do we have? Yes, we have one of these. Uh, classic signals over here signals are going to be changing as well as you guys may have recalled in the last episode We started using these Pennsylvania Railroad signals, which we'll be using in uh, Well over here, I suppose In Canada, we won't be using that and speaking of Canada That's where we're going to be focusing for the next few episodes. We've got a few towns left to connect Thunder Bay Sudbury and Grand Rapids. Now Grand Rapids I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with it yet, just yet. So the ones that I do want to connect is Thunder Bay and Sudbury and I want to connect them up to also Sault Ste. Marie. So we've got this one over here that we need to connect up as well. So plenty to do, plenty, plenty to work on. I wish the AI wouldn't build like this. Someone did tell me there was a way to stop them. I, I can't remember exactly what it was. Was it these fences? I I can't remember. It, there was a way to stop them from building where they build. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try it here. I don't want them building here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to demolish this one. I'm going to sort out. We're going to start by flattening this up correctly. There we go. That's better. Looks more like a hill again. Right, and I'm going to put some rocky rocks around. Just to see if this actually prevents them from building in the area. And some trees. Not those trees. These trees. And hopefully that should stop them from building in this area. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to take uh, other measures, more drastic measures. But uh, yeah, that will do there. See, over here as well, they just... Well, I suppose over here there's nothing we can do about it. It's just going to happen. But anyway, like I said, we need to start by uh, sorting things out over here. We're going to be working in Canada for quite a while. We've got all these farms here to provide food. Uh, that food is most likely going to be fed down to over here where there is a there is a food processing plant waiting to to receive food and there's also a farm here but we're going to see we're going to see what happens let us begin at Thunder Bay yep let's start at Thunder Bay and let's work out what what we need here so Thunder Bay actually had passenger stations for quite a while let's start smoothing this out first Just to make sure that we're we're in some decent amount of ground, because this is very hilly. This is very bumpy. I want to smooth it up as much as possible, because the rails are going to be obviously going through there. Hopefully, letting Thunder Bay sprawl out this way. So we're going to put two terminal stations here, because at the end of the day, you're not going further than that. That's as far as you're going. Uh, we're going to have, let's see, 
One station here. Let's line this up a little bit better. Yeah, we can line this up like that and we're going to increase the platform length to the full 360 meters. Ah! Now, it may be better to have it up here. Oh, what if we could do it up on the hill? No, I think it, mm, that might be the the one we're going for out here. Actually, no, that that will most likely be the freight. So we'll have this over here. Yes, okay, okay, I've got it. I know what I'm doing. So we're going to have this one over here. Um, I kind of, yeah, okay, that will that will have to do. I'm going to have it as four tracks. I think four, four should be enough over here. Um, could I curve this actually? That might actually help out. Because then I can, then I can do this to it. I mean, it's not exactly the straightest of stations, but or, or hold on. I mean. Could I, could I do that? Curve it straight out. That could be a possibility. Okay, you know what? I think the freight station may be the best one to do first. So here we go. Freight station. Um, which one? I suppose it's that one. And we did, we are going to have huge trains here. So we're going for a 600 meter platform, which as you can see is very, very big. We're going to have to demolish this and this over here. And we're going to use some smoothing, like so. And then back to the station, over here, unable to align terrain. Where are you struggling? Where are you struggling? Are you struggling over here? If it's possible that it's struggling over here, there is an easy fix for this. We will just... Not like, not like that, that wasn't pretty. Yeah, just do this. Actually, no. No, 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 no. We will... Rather... Hmm. I want, I want like a Y junction, if possible. Something like that, actually, might do the trick. Station approach. There we go. And as a matter of fact, we can continue this road like this. Uh, no. Yes, that's fine. Remove the building. There we go. That looks pretty good. So that can go off that way. This can this can continue along. Okay, okay. Back to this. Unable to align terrain. Where? Like, where is it struggling? I'm a little bit confused. Unable to align terrain elite. Is it? Let's bring some contour lines up. Is it this area here? I mean, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be struggling. It really shouldn't. If it is this area, let's actually lower the terrain. We'll even it out in a minute. Right, surely that should be enough. We don't want to take the whole hill out, of course. Yes, okay, so it was that. Okay, fine. 
Right, what is going to be going out from here? We're going to have wood going out from here. We're going to have iron going out from here. Anything else? Just iron and wood leaving this place. And we're going to have stuff coming in. I think four tracks should be enough for this. I think. Let's go for five. Just, just in case. Or why not six? You never know. You never know. Right. Uh, let's line this up a little bit better. Something like that. There we go. All right, and now we can uh, smooth out this area. This is going to cause problems, isn't it? I can, I can just feel it. And we'll put the freight drop in right here. A large one, because we are going to need a large one. Put it in like that. like that that looks pretty good that's impressive what happened here wow these these this ai is just the the way it ruins the landscape there we go still going to, i know it's going to make a mess of that at some point but uh nothing i can do about that okay now we're going to go over here. We're going to try and go for a sorry, a railway passenger station. Naturally not as long, nowhere near as long actually. 320 meter station, 360 meter station. Actually fits. Pretty close to this as well. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, but fine. Did we need six? I think we only need four, right? Uh... Okay, you know what, let's just stick six in. You never know when we'll need it, and it seems to fit better anyway. It's just a much better fit. Like so, there. All right. Now, we're going to clean this up. All of this looks almost level. They all look like they are fairly... Yeah, they actually look like they're on the same level. That's quite cool. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this bit up. Now comes the difficult part. It's, it's reworking all this to work with the number of rails that we're going to have coming out of Thunder Bay. Now, the way we need to go is we need to feed it through here or around here. There's, there's two ways we can feed this. Now I'm thinking maybe we feed the passenger rail through that side and the freight through this side. But because of the amount of trees, I can't actually see the safest or the, the smartest of paths. There's a path through here. I'm not too sure. I mean, there's a path that goes around here. Let's have a look. Let's go for rail and just see. See, that starts going upwards quite significantly. That's fairly flat there. That's upwards. That path there. There's that right there that we could potentially get through this section. Okay. And then from here, that's quite an embankment. We could use one, or we could go around this side where virtually nothing 
and that's fairly straight as well from here again we are fairly straight another sharp corner potentially potentially here yeah look this looks a lot well that doesn't I think we're going to have to end up on this side somehow hmm and on the other hand the other the other side that we can go is we go straight this way which we can work out I'm sure we can work out perhaps through a tunnel or even a to be honest we could if we really wanted to we could bridge the passengers and something I don't know or tunnel I think the tunnel might be a, a good bet to get out onto this side then we run along the the coastline here should look fine and we'll continue to run along the coastline right along this contour line here then we end up with the same sort of situation that we're going to have where we're going to have to tunnel and then potentially just feed it straight through the middle of that and then from there I would say we're home free but there is a lot of terrain to navigate here hmm. all right well I think I think that's what I want to do now of course the first issue is going to be this bridge so we're going to have to cut back that bridge and now we're going to see how the railways pan out so we've got six here so let's start by getting these middle two okay that's almost uphill I don't like that already I don't like that already that's okay I can I can deal with that okay it's just a straight cut it's, it's really horrible that is like so And that is, that's the six done there. We don't need any more here. We can start narrowing these down. So at this point, what do I want to narrow it to? Two or four? I think four might be the one I want to narrow it to. So we're going to continue these four tracks along So that's one, two, three, and four. Like so. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And then this is where we're going to tunnel straight through. So we'll start with this one to find out how the cut is. Uh, I'm not entirely happy about that one. Is there a... Is there a slightly lesser cut that we could take no it looks like it's still going to cut that side quite significantly but on this side we might be able to no we're not we have to go this way that's the only way we can go that's going to keep it flat or as flat as and we're going to try and join up with that cont contour line there okay so that's one that's two, three, and four. Okay. That's all right. Now let's just get it up to this contour line, which we, we're going to have to do that to. Ugh, I don't like that really don't like the idea of doing this but unfortunately it has to be what it has to be done so we're getting there we're definitely getting there 
one, two, three. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. I'm sure we can we can spruce up the place a little. And here we could just do that. Yep, that looks pretty good. Slightly more of a hill. Every time we do this, there's obviously more of a hill being created. Okay. Do we really want four tracks? That's the other question. Could we just get away with two tracks? Ooh. That's another... That is another question. I mean, m maybe we can. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we can't. I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. But let's leave that now. How that is. Just, just for now, we're going to leave that. All we're going to do is connect these up as we need to at uh, 45 miles per hour seems like a reasonable speed there we go so that goes in there and we're also going to need to do all our platform selections and stuff but that can happen that can happen afterwards so this is actually going to be the first station the, or the first new station that has the uh, correct pathing coming in and out. So it's not going to be up, down, up, down. It's actually an up, up, down, down. Or we're going to have it up, up, down, down, switch to up, down, up, down. Or something like that. It's, it's going to have the correct signaling coming in. Right. Similarly, what can we do with this? I assume we probably want to just follow this around, right? So what we have to do is uh, it's from here perhaps no uh, maybe we'll do it from here and yeah, we'll do it from here like so because this is going to start swinging off in this direction Fifty miles per hour. Let's do it. This is going to be one interesting approach. Right, okay. Do the same over here. Now if you're wondering why I started with these lines as opposed to the other the other lines. Uh hmm. That that wasn't clever. This should be faster. 55 miles per hour will give you... Yep, that's going to be better. Because by the time we get to the last lot, it's going to end up being 50. Okay. So now we need to hook this up. Unfortunately, we can't... We don't have the opportunity to cut too much more out of the ground. Or at least I don't want to cut too much more out of the ground but there is a significant amount being cut at the moment there we go and I'll tell you what this last lot we're actually just going to break it off here There we go. Not the nicest of curves, so I'm going to actually fix that up as well. Should have been curved all the way. That's straight. Why would you do that? That's really ugly. Wow. Uh... No, 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 
Um, hmm. Hold on, I'll sort this out. Give me a moment, I'll sort it out. Right. That's sort of what I want. So maybe... Construction not possible. Maybe if I did this, then destroyed this bit. There we go. Okay, okay. Here, here we go. Then hooked up to not that. This one. Is there not? There's got to be a way to hook up to this right here. Ah, there we go. Perfect. That's a constant curve. That's what I wanted. Done. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Right, so we have four tracks here. Splitting into six. And they're going to go off this way. And that's going to go off in this direction. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're definitely getting along here. Uh, let's try now to put the bridge back in. So obviously the bridge is out. Uh, medium street. Ooh. Ooh. I think I could lower the bridge. I would really, really like to lower the bridge. That would be very handy if I could lower the bridge. Let's just do that. You know, because that's that's how that's how a bridge should work, correct? Although, that being said, I could look, I think that's flatter than it was. Yes, let's do that and let's rebuild it as it's still going to be a stone bridge because I don't have any other type of bridge that I want. I don't like these, I don't Yes, that's a clever bridge. Um, I don't like these bridges at all. Yeah, let's do let's do that. Okay, great. The bridge is back in. Fantastic. Uh, things are going quite well here. We've got a few minutes to go. Uh, so before before anything, I think a screenshot of the of the area is needed. We'll get rid of these. We don't need them anymore. Bye bye. Uh, which way should we do the screenshot? This way? Yeah, that looks like a pretty steady. No, this way. There we go. That looks like a much steadier screenshot. And. Screenshot taken. Fantastic. Let's go back here and see what else we can do. So. If we go back to railway construction, where did I say that this was going to be fine? It's through this little gap here, right? So I need to somehow, somehow I've got to bring the trains in to there. Hmm. Something tells me this isn't going to be easy. But let's, uh, before we end, let's try to get them in at a reasonable speed. It's not bad. I think that it needs to be a lot tighter though. There we go. Oh, that's going to tunnel now. Surely there was a, we had a way through, didn't we? Where was the way through? Okay, well, we'll have to tunnel it round the side here. That's unfortunate. That's okay, because we're still going around this way. So, we're going to have to work that out. Bring the tunnel as far back as we can, though. Do that. Now, hopefully, the remaining four lines also want to go through. At the moment, it doesn't look like they even want to connect. Right, do you all want to go through the tunnel? Please say you do. third one does 
Does the fourth one. Yes, it does. Okay, so we get four lines through here. That's fantastic. To get four lines through is brilliant. We'll connect this up like so. And we'll connect that up like so. This is going to be one interesting route. Look at this. Looks beautiful. It's also a good time for me to end. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think of what I'm doing so far. And if you found any solution to this that maybe I didn't, I didn't pick up. Maybe you saw something that I haven't seen. And you're probably screaming in the comments boxes. So do, do scream away and I will read them and... Maybe, maybe redo the, the redo this entire area if it is, so I'll just have to redo these. Next episode, we're not going to be focusing on Thunder Bay, although we have got tracks coming out of Thunder Bay. We're actually going to be focusing on Sudbury, where I want to make a very unique type of station, uh, even more complicated than the one that we have at Cincinnati. So do tune in for that. Thank you very much once again, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Transport Fever.